Welcome to the program. My name is Jesse Peterson. Tonight, we're talking about my favorite subject. I mean, this is something that everybody wants to hear about. So run and tell somebody to tune in right now. You don't want to miss this. We're talking about the man and woman relationship. Uh, I think one of the most difficult aspects of life. Uh, uh, men seem to be weak and women seem to be angry. So we're going to try to understand if that's true and if so, why. Um, uh, what I want you guys to do tonight, since there are so many and we have such little time, we're going to get into the subject, but before, I'd like to know what organization or company you're with today, all right? Uh, Corey, um, your last name is Plank? Mm -hmm. Plank? Okay. Uh, I'm glad you're here. The man and woman relationship is raw. My first question to you, who is in charge, men or women? <laughs> I think that <laughs> depends on the relationship. And what do you mean? Uh, different dynamics, you see different people, their own personality comes out in the relationship and so it depends on their own character who's kind of in charge if anyone is. Okay, which, which company are you with tonight? I'm with the LA Gay and Lesbian Center. Okay, and so who should be in charge, the man or the woman? I don't know if anyone should be in charge. If you're talking about a really strong, a really good relationship, things should be more equal between the two people that are involved. Equal, meaning two presidents in one company? <laughs> <laughs> Is that possible? Well, two people directing maybe different aspects of the relationship, but definitely like working together. Really working together? Mm -hmm. uh, how about you, Renard? I think Renard Taylor so. from... Uh, Taylor Defense and Research Group. Okay. I think someone Preferably the man should be in charge of, well, not let's not say in charge, but leading the relationship. If you have two people with 50-50 power, you're not going to get anything done. But somebody's got to take the, I would call it the tr traditional role in the relationship. Really? Like our grandparents had. And what is the traditional role? Well, that's, I think, where the man was in charge, standing up, being a man, taking care of his family. Okay. What's the difference between leading a relationship and being in charge of the relationship? Well, I don't know if there's much of a difference. Uh, if you're leading a relationship, I mean, um, spiritually, morally, you should be setting examples for, you, for the rest of the family to follow. Do you think the man should be leading? I think the man should be the leading. Uh, who's in charge now, the man or the woman? Well, f just looking at some of my friends who are in relationships, either dating or married, it seems like the uh, female is in charge of that, those relationships. No. And that's not the right way. Well, it doesn't seem to be working out very well for them. It doesn't work. Reverend Joyce Gaines from, uh, where are you from, uh, Reverend? Tell the audience where you're from. I'm from you? California. I mean, which organization? <laughs> which organization? Yes. Well, I have my own organization, which is uh, completely unique, spiritual cleansing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, who's in charge, uh, Reverend, the man or the woman in today's society, in relationships? Well, I'm really not clear on it. You're not clear? On who's in charge. Who should be in charge? Well, uh, personally, I think that the man should be in charge. The man should. Mm -hmm. um, have, you, have you noticed that the man seemed not to be in charge for some reason? Well, yeah, because t times have changed quite a bit. But it's, when you say in charge, that, that creates another avenue. Of meaning? What you're, meaning, um, as far as my opinion is concerned, yes. I still believe in the old. Um, the man should be the one responsible more so. It's more like, to me, it's more like a naturalness. Yes. Because the woman is going to naturally handle what she's going to handle. And things have changed so much so until we have gotten everything a little confused and mixed up. Uh, let me just ask, uh, are you married? I don't know much about No, I'm not married. You're not married? No. And have you ever been married? Yes, I have. And when you were married, uh, who, who was in charge of the family, of the household, or the family? My husband. Your husband. Mm -hmm. And so, did you divorce him, or are you guys divorced? He died off, or what happened? We agreed to disagree. You, you agreed to, meaning you agreed to divorce? Yes. You did. And but they don't call it divorce anymore. What do they call They call it a disillusionment. <laughs> <laughs> California. I didn't know that. <laughs> no, it's, that's what they call it now. Wow. Amazing. Mm -hmm. oh, well, we'll talk about that later. Okay. Um, Francisco Martinez, who are you with? Where? Me, I'm Francisco Martinez. I'm with uh, just a private party. I work at Northrop. And um, who should be in charge of the, the relationship? 
The man or the woman? Clearly the man should be in charge. And why is that? Um, there's, there's no such thing as a two-headed snake. I mean, uh, there has to be somebody to lead, somebody uh, in charge. And so why shouldn't it be the woman? Uh, it's not given her to be in charge. Can you speak up more? It's, it's not given for, to her to be in charge. What do you mean by that? The authority was given to, to uh, man uh, to be in charge of uh, the relationship. Um, I feel that, I know that there's an order. Um, I kind of, I got this out of the Bible. It goes like this. Um, God, Jesus Christ, Father, um, uh, woman, and child. And that's where I understand the order comes from in the family. And so are you married? No, I'm not. You're not married. Have you been in a relationship before? Yes, I have. And were you in charge? Yes, I was. You was. And are you in that relationship now? No. <laughs> I had to end it. And why is that? Um, it was a fight um, from the very beginning for her to be in charge. And so I had to wrestle. It was a wrestling match with her the whole time. but. Um, I need you to speak up or we, we can't hear you. Okay, it was a wrestling match, but I, I think it was good. It made me stronger. It made me really know why I was supposed to be in charge. Really? Yeah. Okay. It was good for me. Stephanie Williams, you, yes. look, you look like a lady that's in charge of the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in charge of myself uh, in the relationship. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about your company before we get into the discussion. Uh, my company is Pygo Enterprises, that's I-N-N-E-R hyphen prizes. Um, it is a dream building company and what we do is help people develop their dreams, find the resources, contacts, and help them to maintain their goals. Yeah. Um, who should be in charge of the relationship? Whoever wants to be. And, and what do you mean by that? Certain people want to be in charge of a relationship and some people don't want to or need to be. So you're saying that if there, a man and a woman come together and the woman decides, I want to be in charge of the relationship, the man should surrender to that? No, I believe that it's her job to find someone who is compatible with her love story. So if she wants to be in charge, then she needs to find a man who does not want to be in charge. Really? Could a woman be happy being in charge of a man? I never met a woman that was happy doing well, that. I guess it's the way you perceive that, the way you're phrasing it to be in charge of a man. I really don't think, uh, I mean, from my point of view, I wouldn't want to be in charge of Head. a you person. Know, are you married? No. You're not married. Are you in a relationship? Yes. You are. And in that relationship, who, who's in charge of the relationship? What, uh, give me your definition of in charge, I'd like to know. Um, as someone said earlier, there is an order. Man should be over woman. And I don't personally see that happening today in society. And I'm wondering why, why is that? Why is it that the man seems to be looking up to the woman as opposed to the woman looking up to the man? Well, I think you have so many, from my point of view, you have a lot of variables that we have to deal with to answer that question. It wouldn't be just one answer. One is how they are raised in society by single moms or mothers who have not been cherished by a man before. So she does it, so he becomes her little girl for all intents and purposes. The male is raised by a woman as if like a girl. She right. cherishes the little boy like a little girl. And so, therefore, he grows up wanting a woman to cherish him. Mama, so, oh, so the girls in our societies, we're always, in, at least in our African-American community for most part, we're always told to, you know, we're going to be held accountable for everything. We have to cook. We have to clean. We have to be able to do everything and be ready and be strong for that man. And yet the men are not prepared to take care of us. Right. So do you look up to your man, the guy you're dating now? Do you look up to him? If you want to assume it's a man. Uh, well, <laughs> unless you tell me this, that's all I have. Are you dating, uh, man? My whole point is that it doesn't matter. I mean, you, you keep saying male-female relationships, but really, I'm going to get real scientific from my point of view again. Um, I believe that people, you can have male gen genitalia mm -hmm. and think like a, the typical stereotype woman. Like a woman, yeah. You have a brain like a woman and with male genitalia, which means you can be, you can meet and go out with a woman 
a female with, with a male brain with female genitalia and you'll be <laughs> equally matched. I mean, so male, male, you're thinking, gen, you're thinking gen, gentle toes and that's not the definition of a male or a female for me. That's really? only the sex, that's what, the gender. What's the definition of a male or female to you? According to the way men are typically perceived, a uh, man is like A, B, C, however you want to describe the attributes and characteristics of a male. There are women who have the same characteristics minus the genita genitals. And so, Can I ask a question? yeah. Now, the women who are raised up like, <laughs> if the boys are raised up by their mothers as little girls, then the little girls were raised by the mothers, so they brought up to be more tougher and harder like the little boys it's should be? I think, for me, <laughs> I like to joke about it, but I like to say my, my parents raised me to be a boy, raised me like a boy, and I, did, I was cherished very early in life, but as I grew older in the household, the boys didn't have to be responsible or accountable, even when they were supposed to be, but the women, girls were always held accountable. It was like a shame. We were shamed if we failed to uh, live out the roles that we were given and take on that which the guys didn't let do. Me they let didn't me ask you this uh, because of time. Uh, are you dating a man or a woman? A man. A man. Mm -hmm. And so do you look up to that man? Um, in the ways that I do, I don't worship him. I don't mean worship, but okay. he, I mean the order is he is the kind of man that you can't control. I, I'm not trying to control. Oh, good. No. Because you do know most women try to control men, right? Well, I think that um, people try to control people. But in a man and woman relationship, do you recognize that most women try to, to, uh, to con control men? No, I think that most women probably, because of the socialization of the females in the world, mm -hmm. across the world and continent, women have been so socialized to be so passive and to play a certain kind of role that they don't know who they are okay, we're and gonna, they're rebelling. We're going to talk about passive women because I haven't seen one in a long time. We're going to talk about that. Martin, are you in a relationship now? No, sir. What organization or business are you with tonight? Um, I work as an engineer at a high-rise office building. Oh, okay. Um, do you think the man should be in charge of the relationship or the woman? The man better be in charge. And why is that? That's his duty. To um, give direction, to be an example, to um, bring home the bacon, and uh, take care of his family, raise his kids. So do you see that happening now in, the, in this day and time? Hmm. I haven't s well, I see him carrying out cert some certain things. Some men will be able to bring home the bacon or they'll be raising the kids, but as house husbands, you know, they won't be doing it as <laughs> leaders passing on orders to their, to their wives. They'll actually be at home. Um, but no, mostly I don't see it. Uh, Reverend Gaines, I hear all the time that men don't know what uh, a woman want because she doesn't seem to know what she want herself. I always hear uh, men telling me, my woman says she wants this, and when I give it to her, she's unhappy. Then when I do this, she's unhappy about that. What is it that a woman want? Or does she know what she want? Just like any human being, <clears throat> excuse me, it's just like any human being, we all have the right for a change of mind. And the old cliche is just what you said, women don't ever know what they want, they know what they want. They do know what they want. Of course they do. And why is it that they confuse the man about what they want? But it's not about confusing him That's about it. That's what they want. <laughs> they want to confuse the man? Keep him off his feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the game. Well, I can tell you this much. If it's, as it's quoted in the Bible, Jesus says, it is done unto you as you believe. And if that's what you believe, then that's what you're going to draw to you. You cannot draw anything else to you but what you believe. If you believe that women do you like you say they do. Well, I didn't say they do me any kind of way. Well, I'm saying. <laughs> I simply said that you said they didn't. You they, said you said that they do it on purpose. I they agree want, with you. Okay. So I'm saying to you, it's about who you are and what you believe. And that's what you're going to draw to you because that's your life experience or lesson that you need to learn. But my question to you, women, and, and I'm asking the same question, so forgive me. What is it that they want? You know, they, they... 
Okay, well, I have to ask you, what is it that men want? I'm asking the questions here. Okay. What is it that the woman, <laughs> <laughs> what is it that the woman want? When you, let's, let's, let's get personal. When you meet a man, what is it that you want from this man when you meet him? What is it that I want? I want equal respect and consideration, love. Equal respect. Understand, equal respect. And so you, when you say respect, in what way? Support what it is that I enjoy doing, and I will support what it is that you enjoy doing. Oh, I see. And then love. Uh, well, that comes first. And, and what is love in, in your mind? What is love in my mind? Yeah, when you say love, what do you mean? It's, it is equal respect. Equal respect. Mm -hmm, that's that's what love is. That's a part of it. Yeah. That makes sense to you, too? Is that what you want? I think that makes perfect sense. And, and what is love when you think you want love from your man what it, what is it that what does that mean to you well i think that for for any kind of relationships that are intimate or personal relationships people want to be treated equally and be treated with respect and have a, a level of friendship in whatever type of relationship that is if it's a love relationship that friendship is part of it sometimes the beginning part of it but i noticed that in most relationships today men are weak in relationships how can a woman respect a man or give him his love when he's weak? I think that that depends on the individual person. If, if, if you don't have a self-appreciation, if you don't have a self-worth of your own, it's going to be very difficult for someone else to, to value you. Yeah. So I think that's something that the person has to, to get on their own first before they come into a relationship and expect someone else to feel that way about them. Oh, okay. That weak person, as you said, Jesse, that might be where he want to be in life, his self-worth. You might see it as weak, and he might see it as just where he want to be. That's his level of comfort. So you're saying and that he'd rather have a woman, as going back to what Stephanie Williams said, who treats him like his mother and takes care <laughs> of him and, him and cuddles him instead of holding him responsible. Because we have so many men in relationships now where they don't work, but the woman is taking care of them financially. Yeah. And when you're with a woman, Renard, in a relationship, what is it that you want from her? When I'm in a relationship, I'm basically looking for respect, uh, love, and comfort. Okay. Now, and when you say respect, what do you mean? Well, just respect me as a person and a human being as I do you. And how should, I mean, don't you have to, like, do something in order for her to give you that kind of respect? Well, yeah, I'm going to conduct myself as I should. as. Right. A, as a moral, respectable person, uh, showing spirituality and letting what I do daily be an example, hopefully, to her and other people who uh, take a look at me. And when you say love, what do you mean? Well, love is just part of the respect and part of the wanting to be with a person for their good qualities and not be with a person because he's taken from you or you got to lift him up but he's already at a level where you can come and respect that and appreciate it. And so you've been in relationships before, right? Yes, I have. And have you met a woman that loved you and respected you? In their own way, yes. <laughs> uh, you wasn't happy with that way or something? Well, no, it really wasn't what I was looking for. Um, you go back to, and I'll say my last relationship, this particular person wanted to be in control and wanted everything her way. Um, if I did try to do something that she wanted or she wanted this so I get it, she still found something to whine about. Yeah. <laughs> and, yes? You know, I can't help but uh, thinking as I'm listening to everybody is that what I found in my personal relationships is that we, as myself as a female, when we were younger, we really didn't take the time to truly, truly qualify the person before we start getting into an intimate relationship. And I, when I mean qualify, um, whether that person had a, whether their idea of love was compatible with our, our idea or whether what they wanted to do in life would be compatible and act as an asset, you know, like we can work off one another as opposed to this competitive thing. It became just physical attraction. Somebody was cute. Yeah. Someone had money. Somebody could help. Whatever. I was going to say the physical attraction takes away from your common sense because we do look at people and qualify them. But then you get into the physical and the sex, you're going to say, well, that can improve. And it's not going to. Uh, you know, I want to throw this out. I think that man makes a mistake 
when he try to find a woman that is compatible. Because if a man should find a woman that is compatible to him, it's like two women coming together. A man should be different from a woman so he can bring her out of her hell, you know, out of her emotion. Are Most you women like two men coming together? I'm just saying because if a man is compatible to a woman, that means that he's emotional, insecure. He's gonna to have to look up to that woman, and a woman need. Really join just the opposite. He's finding a woman who's strong and. No. But there's no such thing as a strong woman. What's your definition of compatible? Is there? Yeah. Is there such thing as a strong woman? I definitely think there's such thing as a strong woman. Really? Have you ever seen a strong woman? I think that my mother, my grandmother, I think they're very strong women. Really? And, and define strength for me. Maybe we mean it different things. I think when you say strong, what do you mean? Strength of character and, and strength of your convictions and, and making sure that you stick to your own beliefs no matter what may come along that would compromise them for someone who didn't have as much strength. Really? We're going to take a break, all right? And when we come back, I want to clearly understand a strong woman because I've never seen a strong woman in my whole entire life. We'll be back in a moment. Jesse Peterson is the founder of the Brotherhood Organization of a New Destiny. For information, write Post Office Box 86253, Los Angeles, California 90086, or call 1-800-411-BOND. Okay, we are back. We are talking about the man and woman relationship. And just before we went to break, uh, I was told there, there, is, there are strong women out there. And I don't believe that's true. I've never met a strong woman. And so, uh, Corey, mm -hmm. is, uh, said that you said your mom was strong. Mm -hmm. were, um, you were raised, were your mom and dad together when you were growing up? For most of the time, yes. And, and then they divorced or yeah. something? Mm -hmm. and, and, and why did they divorce? Just didn't get along. Really different. Do you think it was? Be, it could have been because your mom was too "quote unquote" strong for your father. And I, no, I don't think that was. I don't think that they just were on different paths. And right. Decided to. And the different paths. Any time a woman thinks that she is strong, she's on a different path than a man because the man has to be the strongest one in the home in order to guide the family, or he will bail out. You disagree with that? <laughs> I think she does. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Have you uh, ever seen a strong woman before? Uh, strong in certain ways, yeah. Yeah, in, in what ways? Such as Corey described uh, earlier, and also um, strong in terms of um, the will, the spiritual soul will to survive, to keep persevering through all obstacles, yes, challenges, without the love, without the support, without the money. That's what I've noticed about women. They're not strong, they're willful. You know, they're, they're, That's they're, 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 you said, you agree with that? I've seen the willfulness in them. You need to speak up for me. Why are you I've speaking seen, so low tonight? I've seen the willfulness in the women, and um, it's a type of hell. I don't know what you're talking about, strength, but uh, I see these women all the time. and They're actually running the black community, and uh, I, it's out of the weakness of men that the women are forced to be like that, but it's not meant for them. I don't get angry when I see a woman like that or I didn't get angry when I dealt with a woman who was like that because I knew it was pushed upon her to be that way. It's not her nature to be that way, to be strong and willful and angry and bitter. No, no, no. First of all, you are now um, saying that willfulness and the strength of the will That's is dependent is. upon a negative uh, it's a very negative thing. No, no. What I'm saying is the will to follow your dreams, um, to, to persevere, to go after a job and go meet the people or go to school and get the skills that you need to attain something, that's willfulness. But there's a way and of that's doing strength. It. There's a way of doing it where you can do it out of calmness. And you can. there's another way that I've seen women do it. They do it out of uh, frustration and anger. That's not the right uh, that's not the right food to a, operate real, out, out of that. That's a real judgment on That is, part. because it's I never said whole, how. A judgment is what it is, it's yeah, what it is. It's just a real judgment It's what it is, it's what it is. It's, it's the sooner that we, what makes relationships work right. with, in any relationship with your children, with your 
spouses, however you might want to say it, what makes them work is when you step back and get out of judgment. Well, Reverend well, Gaines, is that judgment? Is that judgment? You have to judge. Is that you judgment? can't be in a relationship. Yeah, that's ju what you were saying was judgment. Excuse me. If yeah. I see a red light and I tell you the light's red, I'm not judging. I'm just discerning. What does that it's, have to do with the uh, price? I'm of not office? judging. I'm telling you that when, when I see a woman like that, I'm not judging her. I'm just saying the woman is very um, willful, strong. She's, she's going from the wrong energy out of anger, frustration. That's not the way to that, live that's life. That's the assumption that that's going for an education is out of anger. But let me no. ask Reverend I mean, Gaines this. Let me ask because of time. Reverend Gaines, I've noticed that it, it seemed to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I've seen it time and time again, and I've been counseling over the years. I noticed that it's the strong will of a woman that runs the man out of the home and, and destroys the children. It's her will that is destroying them. I don't, she know, I don't know where them. you've been, where you got your information well, from, but that? I don't see all of that. What is I, don't, that? I really don't see all of what, what you're talking about. What is it about the woman that destroys the children once the father is out of the home? I, I, I don't know those cases. Aren't you a minister? Yes, I am. How can you not know? Well, that's what I'm saying. I haven't been involved in that. Oh, where, you know, did, where did you, you get that information with, from? Do you deal with people in your church? I deal with a lot of people. And, and you I haven't noticed that? a long time. And, and what you are saying, I, I really... It, it behooves me. Uh, have you seen that? Uh, uh, yes, I have. Oh, are we out of time already? Oh, my goodness. You guys hold that thought, all right? And we'll, we'll pick it up next week. We're talking about the man and woman relationship, and I'm sorry we are just out of time right now, but we're going to pick up, do a part two. So if you, I'm telling you, if you really want to understand the man and woman relationship, tune in next week for part two. Thank you so much for coming on. Welcome to the Jesse Peterson program, and we are live. So if you want to call in, if you want to get involved with this conversation, run to the phone right now, be the first person to call in, and we will take your call right away. We're talking about the man and woman relationship. And I have to tell you, because of men, women are really off base. Because men are weak, and women are angry. How about angry? You like angry better than willful? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're talking to people here that's going to help you work out your relationship within the next 15 to 20 minutes, so you want to tune in. Uh, I, I want to go to, uh, I believe i start with uh, Reverend uh, Gaines uh, on this session because you are a minister, and whenever I hear a person being a minister, that means to me that they've been called by God, and so they got insight to things to bring people to order. Um, you, you seem to disagree with me last week that women are willful and men are weak. A am I wrong on that? Did yeah, I, yeah, I disagree. And, and why do you disagree about that? Well, it's just your choice of words. And okay. So it's let not me, that you disagree, you disagree no, with let words. Me say, let me say this. In each of us, there is a man, a male and a female thought and ideal that exists within us. Mm -hmm. And when you have problems with the other gender, it's because that's the part of you that you haven't learned to love yet. There's some female in you that when you are upset with a woman or you call her weak or willful or whatever, it's something in you that you see in her that's drawing that to your attention. Right. And it's the same difference. Those, those opinions that you have about all that is within you. I, I, and you're right. There is a, a bit of woman in every man. But I don't I, and you guys can disagree with this. I don't think that man should love that woman in him. I think he should overcome that woman in him so he can find his manhood. And, and it's because man is born through a woman that he takes on a bit of her nature. And I think that's, what, that's why men are subject to women. They're feminine, you know, they're into you know, all kind of lifestyle because they have the spirit of the woman inside. I agree with that. But don't you no, think no, they should no, overcome no. that? No, what, you're exactly. saying, what you're saying there is a cardinal, the flesh, the thought of the cardinal, the flesh mind. But, but the opinion that you have about men are weak and women are angry, I disagree. Because that's not with all people. So men are not weak. Not, at, not to my point of view. Not to your point of view? No. How about you, Corey? Do you think men are weak? Not all men are weak. Have you ever seen a strong man before? Uh, yeah. And, and 
Tell me about him, a little bit about a strong man. What was about this man that you thought he was strong? He was very hardworking and very loyal, um, very faithful to his ideas, um, just really kind of a strength of character that we were talking about before. Oh, I see. So you think that because he was loyal to his ideas and hard work, that, that was strength? Mm -hmm. Really, most people, not all, but most people seem to be loyal to their ideas, especially in society today, and we seem to be going to hell real fast. I guess it depends on what your ideas are. Oh, I see. Uh, let me ask uh, uh, Francisco yes. Martinez. Um, do you agree that there is a bit of a woman and a man inside of a man? It's a man's job to, uh, in order for a man to be mature, um, he has to try to get over that. Over what? Um, that feminine part of it in his nature. Um, I don't believe a man can be a complete man with that in him. It's a weakness. It's not, it's a negative. <laughs> it's something that a man has to overgrow. Every, every woman there, hates. If God put it there, it's there for God didn't put it there. It's there. It's, no, it, God it's put there. It there. Because God is the grogginess. God, man, God did not put and it there. Female. Out of mistake. God is male and female? Out of exactly. A, a grogginess. That's out of, what it is. It was a problem out of when man fell, this nature came into man. It was man's fault in the beginning when he, out of the, because of the that's, fall, that's it came into That's your opinion. Him. Well, you can't see your it. Confusion. Because you can't see it, you, you don't understand it. Steph, you I, think that, do you, yes. <laughs> So you're saying that women are less than... I'm, I didn't say that. I'd say they're, they're equal. Weaker. In the beginning, they're equal. Women has their, her nature and a man has his nature. And um, when the two are confused, when a man has the nature of a woman, it's out of order. A, a man is a man and a woman is a woman. But like what she said, it's not, it's something that was created. It was something that was created after the fall. Because, because the man fell to the temptation of a woman, you know what? Saying that this nature that. came into, this uh, nature uh, came into the man. But that you are saying that women are less than. No, I'm not saying. I'm saying the, a piece of less her nature what? is in the man. Less than what? Women are less equal than, less, less of a person or less than. No, they're saying, just as equal. Because he has the woman in him until he overcomes They're that, just as equal. Strong. That's but right, that's right. Overcome, that's right. It's something, that it's bad it's something for. That it's weaker. It's not okay. bad, no, it no, is weaker. We, let me do it this I'm sorry, we need to take a call exactly. real fast here. And then Stephanie's going to tell me if she want, would she want to date or marry a man well, who is feminine, like who, who loves the feminine qualities in himself. But let's take Carlos. Hey, Carlos. Carlos, thanks for calling. How are you? Good. Uh, I just want to say that uh, men are only weak when it comes to sex. I mean, that's why you don't see uh, uh, male prostitutes for women on the corners. You know, men will stop and men will screw a snake if someone will hold its head. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's the only the weakness where that comes. But uh, women are, are strong, strong beings. You know. But uh, Carlos, let me ask you this: yes. When a man, let's let's use a relationship, a marriage situation. And when a man runs out of it on his wife because he can't deal with her, is that a strong man or a weak man? Well, uh, because he can't deal with her or because they can't get along. I mean, that's just a choice. Love but, is a choice. But I mean, Carlos, a man should never try to get along with a woman. He could never do that. Have you noticed well, that? Well, no, I disagree. My parents have been married for, you know, uh, almost 50 years. But I bet you your and dad is not getting up. along with her. Excuse me? I bet your dad is not getting along with her. Well, I doubt if he would be in some place where he didn't want to be for but 50 But most years. men, they can't handle that pressure, Carlos, so they give up. Well, I mean, wait a minute, Jess. Peterson, I'm telling you what's happened with my parents, and now you're saying that they don't get along. How You don't stay with somebody for 50 years unless you're getting along. That's not necessarily so, but I appreciate you calling, all right? Okay. Uh, Stephanie, would you, want to, <laughs> would you want to be married or dating or involved with a man who is catering to his female nature? Exactly. It's sensitive. I would, I would definitely want a man who has identified that he does have the feminine aspect lying latent within himself, and he has uh, investigated what that means and how it is to be used to help him become a stronger male. But can he, can he become a strong man if he hold on to his feminine nature? First of all, he is only weak if he doesn't identify like it. Like once he identify it, 
Does he have a responsibility to let it go or to nurture that? To let it go is to be half of a man. So why would I want that kind of man? So you want a man that's half woman? I want a whole man. man. And the whole man is male and female aspects in one person. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. So he's yeah. half. The key word to that is balance. 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 And the, woman, the, does a woman have do you the same that a man, She does. A woman has exactly. maleness exactly. in her? Yes, exactly. she's male and female. But and it's, it, not, it's out of a woman's nature to be that way. I, when I see a woman in charge, I've seen women in charge like this in the corporate world and in the, in the relationship. And it seems to me when I see a woman in charge like that, I see a woman that's uh, headstrong. That she, she it's needs not her given like you need in her nature. And a woman's nature is not masculine. Let me do this. She can't be masculine like that. That's not true. Let me say this. force it and it comes out in anger. Let me say this, guys. That's not true, darling. Uh, um, that's not true. Wow. Okay. We have another call? Oh, let's go to, who's that? Kara. Kara. Thanks for calling you on the air. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't read the writing. Kara? Hello? Okay, we'll come back. Martin. Martin, do you think that um, a man should nurture the female? All men have it. I have to tell you that. You, got, you have oh, it. That's right. All of us have it, and that's what we are trying to overcome. No, There's no way in hell balance. or earth or balance. heaven. Kara's no. There. It, you, you, you can you're never trying to overcome the wrong thing. So no. that's why you're so confused. Like why are you trying to overcome me? the wrong thing? <laughs> Reverend, why are you trying to I'm, overcome? I'm saying. Would you want a man that would nurture the, the, the woman key, in him? The key to Carol? life is balance. Carol? Carol? Yes. You're on the air, man. What do you want to say? I'd like to know what is the difference when a male raises the children when the female should pass or is no longer in the home? Does that make Good him question. a weak? Or Good question. Feminine? You know what? When a, let's say a man is married, he should lose his wife for any reason. It is proper, it is in order for the man to take the children and raise them. Because after about three years of age, the, the child really doesn't need the mother to raise them anymore. He, need, he or she needs the father to guide them the rest of the way. That is the order of things. And whenever you turn the child over to the mother, the mother is not in her nature to do it. You're going to have kids who are angry who are out of control because well, they don't I have their proper that. state. I also agree that it should be a male and a female very strong. Of course. It should be a male and female, but the man should always be leading. Yes, it. the leader. Yes. Yeah. Thank Excuse you. Excuse me. Uh -huh. What if that male is sick? His mind is under and his spirit is underdeveloped and what? he is immature. Well, he he happened to be it. fortunate enough to find a woman silly enough to marry him and have children with him and now he's stuck with the child. Great mistake. Okay. You're gonna have problems, yeah. What Absolutely. Have so you so you call. give him a so you given him accolades because he has a title, not because he's qualified. Well we're we're talking about real men, right? We're talk exactly. we're not talking about weak men, men with problems. What are you gonna say about that? <laughs> well, if a man's unfortunate enough to lose his uh, wife and has to raise the children, there's nothing wrong with that, and he should raise the children without getting involved in another relationship. That's right. Because once he does, then he's going to give that time to that new woman, which takes signs away from the kids. Yeah. At that point, the kids are going to get angry at the father and the new woman, and that's vice versa as well. So, man should pass away, then the woman is left to raise the kids, and she need to show if she has a male child, I mean, if she doesn't have some male, male qualities, how does she teach a boy how to be a man? No. She can. I notice, can't do it. I see that the, the greatest responsibility for um, a father is to, be, um, um, is to be head of the household, and if there's no wife there, is to, the man should be there and sacrifice everything himself, his own selfish gratification to, to, to take care of those kids. I and that's what Corey, true love is. That's Corey what true this. love is. Corey, have you, how, how old are you, if I may ask? How old are you? 29. Have you noticed that the more women rise to the surface, the men become underneath, that society seems to be falling apart? Things seem to be getting worse as the women come to the top? I don't think the women who would think that, no. No, I'm asking you, have you noticed that it seemed to be happening that No, way? I haven't seen that. I, haven't. I see. Do you think things are getting better as a result of the woman? I think for a lot of people, things are better. In, in what way? People are more equal. They have more capability to, if they are in a bad situation, they can get out of it because they have the financial backing. They have a support network to get but, themselves out of it. And you're right. Situation. Women are getting out of a situation where men are mean to them. But I mean, overall, don't you know, or have you noticed that our country, our families are seem to be falling apart because the woman is taking over? 
I don't. I don't know that. I see the families falling apart. I won't necessarily say it because the woman is taking over. It because the man is loud. The man is bailed out, deserted, or he's weak, and the woman's had to step up in order to keep the kids together. But at the same time, yeah, society seems to be falling apart in some ways because the, most of the kids who are out and getting in trouble and causing problems are without fathers. Yeah. Can I use but an the, analogy? But yeah. you can't blame that on it's the man's the fault. Woman. Let's it's get it clear. Fault. It's the man's fault. It's man's fault. Because if men were strong, there's no way that the woman can cause this kind of destruction. You know, you are, uh, for me, you guys are ju you're just simplifying it as if it's just that simple. It's quite simple. As, without giving the antidote, and the whole thing is men have to be strong, you say. Men have to be the head, you say. They, the, the leaders, you say. Yet there is no process for them to get that training that they would need to become such. That's so what is your answer and the solution as opposed to the blaming the judgment of what they should and ought and could be? What are you doing Martin, about it? That's what I'd like to know. We're going to ask Martin, what is the process of turning this situation around where men will become strong and will stay there and deal with their wives and their children? Men have to be willing to um, face the truth about themselves. And the truth is that they've become judgmental and angry and then they're emotional because of that. And that, that emotional part of them just destroys everything, makes them weak, makes them feminine. Anytime you judge, you, 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 trade, uh, you trade your own nature for the, for the opposite nature. So when women judge, they become more manly. And when men judge, they become more like women. So the way back from that is to first forgive your parents and then, well, you know, to seek the truth about yourself, of course, and that'll show you that you hate your parents. And then you forgive your parents, then you seek God after that. Because you have, when you seek the truth, you're seeking God, because He'll show you the truth. And then, then you seek Him secretly in prayer, and He'll guide you the rest of the way. Martin, let's ask the question. What about the men who do not hate their parents? Where is that man? <laughs> so, if you do not hate your parents, then you have the fruit of not hating your parents. You're calm well, in I don't all think situations. I don't think I'm the only male out here who does not dislike his parents. The one thing that I, I noticed with uh, men and women who have had good parents, strong fathers, and what I mean by strong fathers, men who love the truth more than anything else. Most men today don't love the truth. They love the woman, they love the drug, they love the party more than anything else. But a man that loved the truth more than anything else, his wife respects that kind of a man. So they come together in harmony, and the children see that going on, and so they respect the parents. And so they end up living somewhat having the same character as their parents. And they won't end up with women having sex out of wedlock and mean, you know, women that they can't handle because this uh, blessing of the father's passed on and on. But one sign that you do resent your father and, and your mother is the kind of woman or the kind of man that we end up with. Now, because we're the uh, kind of man that your father was, or would that be the kind of woman that your mother was? Absolutely. <clears throat> your absolutely. Nature, your nature, the evil nature or the negative nature will be on, on to you. Okay, let's well, let's, take, let's take Brent first. Hi, Brent. Hello. Anyone in this panel is in a happy relationship right now. Is what? Is anyone here in a happy relationship? I right am. Now? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Are you? Well, it doesn't sound like it. <laughs> I'm very happy. Are you in a happy relationship? Of course. Are you married, Brent? Oh, no. I've he's single. That's why he's happy. Oh, uh, so you're just dating right now. <laughs> he's single. That's why he's oh, happy. No, so I'm that's just... why you're happy, Brent. <laughs> well, no, I'm enjoying it, you know, just like King Solomon, you know. Oh, I see. Enjoying it. Oh, okay. With Thank a thousand you. words. Thanks for calling, buddy. Uh -huh. right. And you know what? I wanted to ask Brent something. Well, too bad. Ahead, I'll, ask I'll ask anyway. Uh, I, I would like to pose this question, which is, have, are any one of you happy all the time with any one person, including yourself? Okay. I, I, are you happy all the time, yes. every second of the day? Every yes. second of the every day, second I'm of the day are you myself. happy? I, yes. Even during the hell, I'm happy. And let me tell you why I am, because what I've learned about life is that uh, you know, I'm involved with a young lady, and what I learned about her is that I'm not subject to her anymore. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. You know, I'm overcoming that woman that was in me, my mom, you know, her nature. So I'm not subject to her anymore. So when she act like a bitch, I don't give into it. It doesn't rock my world. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of losing her. When she get angry, you know how women like to control with sex and words. They build you up and so tell you So why is that overcoming her as opposed to overcoming your own flaws? Because I had to overcome my mother nature in me first in order to deal with my woman in a proper way and not be subject to her. And so I'm not subject to her now, and so she can't rock my world. My happiness come from, and as the good reverend said earlier, from within. But I had to find that place first. Uh, but most, and first most, I had to overcome but a her. But a lot of things that you're saying, and, and mostly everyone is saying it, it's all in your head. What do you mean it's, by it's that? How you, it's what you think. Everything that, w that we're saying and everything that we're discussing is about so many different situations and circumstances that you cannot pinpoint not a single one. Why do you, you think that? You cannot pinpoint it. Why you can't? Because it's, as I was saying before, because it's it's the individual. But uh, uh, the choices that people but men make. But men being, men not knowing how to deal with women, woman with the, with the woman, is you, not you in your say, head. You are saying that, and that is in your head. But every it's not every in your man, head. every man does not agree that that we that what you just said. Every man does not agree to that. There is there is a, a thing. You don't need something. There is a thing that's the objective truth. There is a thing that's truth beyond the truth, isn't there? You agree to that? No, because I the don't Ten know what Commandments. You're talking about. The Ten Commandments. The but Ten Commandments it? in any language, in any culture, are the Ten Commandments written in stone, right? Okay, right? yes. Well, what he's saying, he's saying the same thing. There is, there is a, a, the relationship between a man and a woman. Um, it's not as smooth as it should be. And he's explaining to you why why it's it's and, so and rough. And can I tell you another and, truth? And, and, and can I tell saying, you another truth? It well, will never saying, be. And you're it saying it will never ever me, be. Why not? There is an order. Because oh, there why is an order. A paradox. Why Thank not? Thank you. Because <laughs> each person has their own thought. Everything is because, inside you know, because of it's what you think and what you see. It's what you think and what you see. Let me ask you this. You don't think that the proper relationship with man and woman would ever be. Whose opinion is proper? No, Matthew, you don't think that that you don't all you don't believe there is a proper way. What well, is the idea? I, okay, okay. What's okay. The idea? Wait, wait a minute. Wait Hold a minute. Um, that's the problem. When you, you, when you say proper, yes. that's, the, that's the problem. Now, that's an opinion of what you consider to be proper. What you consider to be proper, he might not consider to I'm be proper. I'm asking you, do you believe there's a proper relationship for man and woman? I think, I think <laughs> that the two that make the one decide that. I don't know what you mean by that. Who is that? And the and male and, and the, the female, female, they come together. They decide if it's proper, improper, but whatever. But we all proper relationship every, for man and woman. It's a choice. It's person because it's, it's pers personal. No, it's, but, right. But listen, no, excuse but listen. me. Excuse Hold me. me. It's, everybody has their own love story. Exactly. The way their love, the way love should be according to their how what they've dreamt how, what up. They, what they've their dreamt head. up. What love, perfect love story for me is. And it won't be the same as either one of you because I'm uniquely me. My, we will have similarities, similar patterns, sim similar exactly. plots and themes in our love story, but not one of our love stories will Exactly the same. The same. Let me ask you this, Renard. When you hear this conversation, what goes through your mind? Well, I was just thinking. What are you thinking? Stephanie is saying love story and what's in their head. So that's a fantasy. That's right. That exactly. the, and especially with women, they have that fantasy People. about what love is going to be. You got one. You have it. Everybody has it. Okay, we all have it. All but right. especially women. Yeah. Why? They started Why? Little girls. especially women? They started Why? little girls especially playing women? with Barbie and Ken, and they're already developing what, a relationship what, what about, in their head. Uh, you don't see little boys playing with Barbie guy? and Ken. <laughs> but let me finish, Reverend. Hold on, yeah. And the male come in, and he's got to deal with, in a lot of cases, the female's you know what? fantasy of love. I promise to come back to you. We need to take a quick break. And when we come back, you can finish that thought, all right? Okay. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in a moment. Jesse Peterson is the founder of the Brotherhood Organization of a New Destiny. For information, write Post Office Box 86253, Los Angeles, California 90086, or call 1-800-411-BOND. Yeah. Okay, we are back and we are live. You can call in if you want. We have four minutes left. 
What I want to do, I really appreciate this conversation. I wish we had longer to go. I want, in a few words or less, how can we resolve this issue between man and woman? Let's start with you, Corey. I think for any intimate or personal relationship, it's a matter of having a mutual respect and an admiration for each other and building that love and making it grow within the two people. Okay, Francisco. What I've seen in the relationship between a man and a woman is um, it's a type of warfare, uh, psychological warfare. And um, I think that if a man is strong enough, he could deal with the woman that he's, that he's uh, picked and help bring her out of her her hell. Okay. I think that people should choose, uh, find a similar love story, the other partner having a same similar love story, and, and choose the right role within the love story, not one of the same, and as opposed to each person coming together, both wanting to play the same role, one playing one of the, uh, the complementary roles that they should play, and that should be done before you commit. Martin. If a man doesn't love God and the truth, there's no way he's going to be able to um, treat his woman the way she should, or handle his woman the way she should be handled. So the only real love that really exists is, the, is a man's love for the truth, and then that'll uh, bless his family and bless his relationship. He'll be strong and, and not subject to the woman, but when he goes into this love the woman, it's all, he'll be ruled. Reverend Gaines. Well, I'll, I'll just say the title of the, wor of the workshops that I do. Be the change that you want to see happen. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, I think, first of all, you need to take sex out of a relationship and put it way down on the uh, totem pole. And then get some common goals and interests. And as Stephanie was saying, find somebody who complement that love story, whatever it is. Because so many times you go into a relationship, you have your ideas, you have her ideas, and they're going to clash. You've got to find something to blend get out of the fantasies and get into some realities of each other. Okay, you know, I want to throw this out. I think that, well, I know for a fact, the way that we're going to resolve this issue, and I disagree that it cannot be resolved, is that man has to repent. You know, I use the Bible there to say that, but man has to overcome the nature of the woman in him, within him, by forgiving his mother or his grandmother or whatever woman that was in charge of him so that he can overcome her nature and then he can develop, cross over, and develop into his manhood nature. And the same for a woman. She needs to forgive her mom or whatever woman that was in charge so she could overcome that and find that proper place. And when that happens, you will find that right kind of love. You will love what's right more than anything else. Then you can deal with the woman in, in the proper way. Right now, man is looking to woman to, to save him, to make him feel good, you know, lie to me, stroke my ego, and women can't handle that. They'll do it, but they don't like it. And so man have to get over that in order to guide his woman. We have some, any comment about that? A few minutes here, here. I, 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 um, I think that if, if, because of the socialization of women and how we've been trained to play certain roles that are going to keep us from being condemned in public society, if we really fought and found our support systems that could help us to become the, our, our authentic selves as opposed to what we've been programmed to perform like, then we could be the strong, smart women who men would follow because a smart woman will choose the right smart man. You know, just to add to that, uh, when I asked you what did you think when you heard this conversation, I was thinking this is so sad that the reason that all these different opinions are here like this, because a lot of stuff doesn't make sense and it would never work. But the reason that it's like this is because man is weak. Man have not guided his family in the right way. And so we've all been left open to go out there and let the world feed us and, get a, and give us ideas that would never ever work. And I really feel for women because if men were strong, women wouldn't have all this stuff well, that Jesse, they have to deal with. The, Jesse, the real truth is you've got to go within and you have to pray to whomever you believe in. But see, a lot in of order, people... And because it's, you're still being opinionated. In order for you to move on anything, it, there's a Holy Spirit in all of us that has to come forth right, and but, ask for guidance. But and a lot that's of people, what will show you. Uh, and that's, a, that's a fashionable saying right now, but a lot no, of people it's don't the truth. understand what it means. You know what? We're out of time again. Thank you so, so much. Not gonna tell I appreciate me. you guys coming on and uh, discussing this. I know for a fact someone was helped today we started a good and proper relationship today. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. All right.